A security breach is a big concern now that we're growing ever more reliant on technology. So joining us this morning to talk about a new survey and who could actually be the weakest link is Ivanti Vice President David Shepard. Good morning. How are you? Good morning. Very well. Thanks for having me. Good, good. Good morning. Okay, David. All right. Tell us about this latest survey and some of the findings that people might be surprised to hear about. Yeah, uh, we surveyed six and a half thousand people, a mixture of office workers, IT professional and C-suite members. And, and we focused in on what the best in class organizations do differently to secure their workforce and organizations. And actually what the report found were that organizations feel more prepared to defend against cyber security threats than ever before. Um, but like but like you pointed out in your introduction there, one in five security uh, cyber security professionals uh, didn't want to defend against a cyber attack compared to, um, sorry, to, to back up confidence, to back up their confidence with a candy bar. Sorry about that. But look, there, there are reasons for that. 36% of uh, cyber security teams pointed out that they still have deep security gaps. There's a complication now with cyber security that causes challenges. That means we have to be very aware of, of the risks that are engaged. And actually, surprisingly, almost half organizations that we uh, that we surveyed um, d d d described um, former employees credentials still within the system so so huge areas of exposure within within organizations that, that rightly cybersecurity professionals are aware of interesting I mean some of that could be fixed easily with procedure but some of it not so easy to solve what about the other side of it for just individuals consumers is there anything we can do in that sense to make sure we're not victims of cyber attacks Yes, yes, of course. I mean, gone are the days of the simple phishing email, you know, the fake email that you click and it asks you for money. These these attacks are much more calculated now and they're actually a lot more sophisticated. So you have to be fully aware of any unsolicited emails and links that, that you may get sent over to you. The best thing a consumer can do is have strong, uh, unique passwords, incorporate something called multi-factor authentication whereby after we've put our credentials in, we get sent a passcode to our cell phone that we can type in to confirm it's uh, to confirm it's us. And then most importantly, make sure we're keeping all applications, all the devices that we have, um, operating systems, keeping them up to date by rebooting or just by applying the updates when they come out. So these little small things that we control can mean that if there is a compromise, our information will be safe. They are definitely getting more sophisticated because I I did get a phishing email and I caught it right away, but then I got something mm -hmm. that had like Apple logo and it was a perfect yeah. email and I was like, oh, let me click the link and see what they're wanting me to do. And it was totally a phishing mm. um, attempt. Mm -hmm. So for sure have to be more careful when it comes to uh, finding, you know, which phishing emails yeah. you're getting. Um, David, all right, tell us about your company and how it plays a role in all of this. Yeah, look, Avanti, we're a global um, IT software solution organization. We, we have a platform that we call Neurons, you know, linked off to intelligence, um, which provides automation for security and IT teams. Um, and we protect devices, applications, and network. Um, and we, we, we focus on providing scalable and flexible solutions. Look, we're doing this for 39,000 customers currently, and we're protecting over 40 million devices. That's incredible. That's quite a bit, yeah. Yes. Uh, David Shepard of Ivanti, thank you so much, sir, for your time this morning. We appreciate it. Thank you for your time and have a good day.